It's the Friday show. It's Collider Live. We are back, you fucks, and it is time to talk about everything in the world of the world. And Darina, you're back. I am, and I'm in such a good mood. Are you good? I feel like yes. we know each other a lot better now. No. Like we don't know because, each other. Well, yes, but not. I'm in a great mood because last night I took a lot of Collider people and scared the crap out of them. And we're going to talk about that. You went to an so escape room. happy. Josh McCougar's back. You did not go. No, well, one, I wasn't invited, and two, I wouldn't go. But you, I, you well, were invited. You would go for the bit. You'd go for the bit. But here's the thing. You guys went last night. There was no, like, email to me, like, hey, we're going to go scare the shit out of each other. Would you like to come? Oh, yeah. if, if you need that, I'll make it happen. Well, but look, it doesn't gonna, how invites we'll, work. we'll talk about the escape room. We're going to talk about all this stuff. But another reason we're here, we're going to have, we're going to have, uh, is a good friend of mine, and we were going to have him on anyway. But now, there's some shit going down that went on his podcast, What's the Odds? And I, I need to find out what the fuck went down, because I thought that I <laughs> won this Oscar pool, but I am here with my buddy. You know him from the league. Very funny comedian. My friend Steve Renazisi. Hello, Hello everyone. How are you? Nice welcome, to have welcome. You. For the record, I would never go to an escape room. I've never been to an escape room. Why wouldn't you do it? Are because you, are you I, scaredy cat too? They're so fun. I, I, it depends. I, I could go one of two ways. I could either become very, very scared and yeah. become useless and be the. Remember the what's his name in Saving Private Ryan who just up stood on the up stairs? Was like, <laughs> yeah, up him. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Up or I will become contr- like. Control like Jack from Lost. Like this is what you have to do. This yeah. is what you have to do. I don't listen to you. I don't. Da, 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 and I would be, and everyone would hate yeah. me. So it would either not. There would be nothing in it. between. Well, so you'd is, be hilarious and entertaining either way. But in real life, you would you, not. No, but my wife would not accept all. either of those versions right. of me. Right. I would go with strangers. A stranger. Like if a stranger yeah. If a strangers wanted to go, would you go with this crew? Um, no. Yeah, no. Because this would hold. That we would all replay it. Then. We all replay. Yeah, it. I so want to go with normals. Well, a normal stranger call. normals. Well, like would, a, you, would you hear some the firemen in like Ohio? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with them. Well, this is what you would hear if Josh McCuga went. I guarantee you'd probably hear this a few times. <laughs> That's yeah. his actual scream, by the way. Yeah. Really? That is That's his me. actual scream. He is scared mm-hmm. of everything. Everything. We, we, we had him do the, the <laughs> It VR game, and he... You can see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The scariest thing I do to myself now is we do uh, ho- Horror Nights, the Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, you yeah that one's for it. pussies. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she said. She, <laughs> like when you walk through those mazes? Yeah. Like the, the, it's okay. Yeah, what? She, she's scared of it. She's not yeah. scared of anything. She, it's for pussies. She has vampires living in her house. Did you see Hellboy? She is that queen. I know. She's the queen. She has no soul. Look at you. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. my god! Yeah, but everyone yeah. else will be. scared I worked of in thing. one of those places, by the way. Did you? Did yeah. you get, were you a scare actor? Uh, e- yes, and, uh, <laughs> it was Madison Scare Garden. Okay, 1999 okay. or 2000. What? Yeah, one of those years. My job, they, you know, they, they turned it into a, a big haunted house. Yeah. And they did I that was, at the Civic Arena in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was the yeah, ice yeah. guy. Uh, I was Mr. Freeze, and so like they had like a chain link fence thing, and you would have to just like you know walk up, slam yourself into the fence. But then you know, seeing the inside, like then going on break and stuff, and like eating a Subway sandwich, a nice and getting character. caught up, and and then like you know smoking a cigarette with your ice makeup on. Yeah. My poor wife was like a girl who came out of a box and like like would jump out, and then like. And I was like, oh, awesome. You must scare a lot of people. She's like, do you know what it's like to get in and out of a fucking box <laughs> for eight and a half hours a day praying for that break? Right. We, yeah. we were so bad and we hated it so much because we were like, did you guys meet each other? What? You, you, you and your wife, did you guys meet each other at the No, no, no. We met in college. Oh, so this right. is like, we got to go get a job as an actor. This is it. And so this is our first thing. Okay. We auditioned for this. <laughs> <laughs> so you I, have fun for like the first hour and then you're For over the it. first hour yeah. of the first day, I right. was like, this shit is dope. Yeah. Putting on the makeup. Yeah. Somebody's yeah. like, you have a great jawline. I was like, I've made it. Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood. Team Icebox. Show business. I love and it. And then all of a sudden, like, we were so bad at it, we called in sick on Halloween. Like the, the biggest day of the year, the one yeah. day they're like, look, just don't fuck around on this day, okay, please? We were like... We can't. Neither one of us can make it in because there was no. We were never going back. Right. You just, uh, you just like, bailed. Yes, yeah, so that's what you got to do. Plus, with those the jobs. Yankees were in the World Series. Oh yeah, right. So it's right, like right, right. I can't juggle right, a lot right. of things at once. Yeah, the glory I've, years, man. I've done two escape rooms. Okay. You did too. And were you scared out of your mind? No, no, no. The okay. one was what? like you're in a government controlled facility and you yeah. have to like get out before okay. the nuclear bombs go. They off. said they had Germans screaming at them yeah. last night. There was no Germans. But that in was, oh yeah. Escape rooms are more like you're trying to solve yeah, puzzles, Nazis. right? Yeah, you're That's trying to solve yeah. puzzles. Yeah. Wait a minute. Time out. Yeah. Time out. Time out. Is this, what theme was this escape room? <laughs> It was, was it, a, it the was last like night the a war room. Yeah. Last night was the Germans. It was Germans. like time traveling. But it's it not was, it like a time Holocaust. Like, sort no, of like, no, 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 no. You're not trying no, to no. escape Auschwitz. It's, 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 not, like, it's like Raiders of the Lost Ark. I mean, like, it's not like real terrifying. 
terrifying. Right. Horrible. Get back in. No. I'm thinking no. like Schindler's no. List. No, 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 no. That's no, 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 Sophie's no. choice. You got to sacrifice yeah. a kid. <laughs> See, that no, one, again, fun. I would not no. be into. No, no I don't think that would fly. Although I might be into that yeah. one. I might do really well uh, on that one. Do you think, do, yeah, but who, who played the German, by the way? The guy looked German? Or did it look like it Arnold's kid? They, ha- they had a lot of good actors. Yeah. Like, everybody that was, phenomenal. so it was a time travel thing. So at some point you go to like 1942. And that's why the Germans are screaming. Right, right, exactly. But it's just, it's so well put together. Yeah. It's it's called Delusion, by the way. If you guys uh, haven't heard about it, it's amazing. Crazy. It's yeah. the best thing I've done in LA. That's like Halloween or horror related. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! The Did production with, value is incredible. Did you go? Um, with, you went with fans. Uh, no, so yeah, I went with basically my friends that are horror fans. So like yeah. Mark, uh, Riley, Hello. Julie, his wife, his amazing wife, and then Dorian and Jack Beyonce. from Collider. Yeah, it's almost there. Almost there. Who, who are apparently giant pussies as well. Yeah. It was. I, but you think everyone's a pussy? Well, that's true. Yeah. Hey, but I saved us from poison gas. Yeah. You did. So after, I after, you went, after you went, after you, after you went in a circle. Because you were too scared to go in a room well, by I wanted yourself. To, no, I wanted to get the fuck out of that room. <laughs> so I went it, around in circles, and then the poison gas starts coming in, and I had to what? save us. See, <laughs> and I did it. And I saved us, and I gassed the Nazi outside the door <laughs> because I put the pipes you together. Reverse gassed him? You reverse like gassed him? Like when Superman got into the chamber. And oh, then it did his outside. Outside. Oh, yeah, totally. Number two. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's exactly yeah, yeah. Nice. what I did. You donored him. Yeah. Donner cut him. How did that feel when you did that? Uh, like, amazing yeah. that I'm a hero, that I that I deserve a medal. Do you high-fiving people when you you did it? Yeah, oh, I high five. Sure. Julie, did high five a lot. Ju- yeah. Julie was like, "Oh my god, you did it!" Yeah. Are you like, with strangers? Or are you with like uh, other strangers. people? Or are you? No, are you no. Just, so it's it just guys? it's just like oh. seven of us basically. Sweet. So it's just a small group, and that's why it's just you and your friends, and you're basically mm, going through all these How much tunnels. Does it cost to do and this? It, it's like a hundred ish dollars, but I got some for free because okay. uh, I'm because I'm a huge fan, and I go all the time. Because you can get everything. Really? For free. Yeah. Dorina just has it locked, dude. I'm in. Steve, I have never been. So I go at Comic Con every year, right? And she 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 goes and the part. Parties at Comic Con are incredible. Yeah, there is no one that I've ever known in my life, that anyone that we've met through comedy or anything, dude, that is better at getting into parties or than this person. Wow, it's incredible the, what she's You're able to do. Jinx me. No, it's what it's. <laughs> well, it's she's magic. got a lot of abilities working for her. It's it's not even that. She's. It's, it's not even that. I'm telling you, like he, like this guy. I'm here, not talking about physical abilities. I'm talking about already. She's already proven. She's like I've been to many escape rooms. Right. I'm not afraid of things. Nothing scares me. So I can me. get out of so, things and into things. Heyo. So no, <laughs> yeah. no, definitely. There it is. Sweet. <laughs> no, definitely doesn't scare you at all. Does no. It? Or like the first time. No, really dumb things scare me, like sharks and snakes. Sharks. That's not dumb. That's not dumb. They're dinosaurs. Natural predators. <laughs> swimming dinosaurs. <laughs> you mean man's but, natural predator? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> All right, listen. Um, one of the main reasons that you're here today is we, we got to figure this shit out. I got to go, guys, everyone. Yeah, Thanks so right. much no, for having no. me on. Thanks, Dave. See you Let, soon. Last night, I te- so we're, we're texting back and forth. First of all, so everybody knows, if, you, if you're tuning in and you don't know the whole saga, I went on uh, What's the Odds podcast, which you can get on Apple Podcasts, you can get on Spotify and everything, All too. those places, wherever you get the casts. And you should check it out. It's a really good show. So Steve and, uh, and Brendan. Uh, Brenton. Brenton. Okay, yes. I keep saying Brendan. Brenton. Brenton. Who cares? Yes. He's so small. Yes. <laughs> He's a yeah. tiny man. Yeah. And I like the guy, but he, he fucked me up yesterday and I, now I got beef with him. I mm. liked him when I was in there, but like he so we get in we, like, we get in, we do our bets and I think that I have him smoked. I do. I thought I had him smoked. I said it on this show and the people were I don't know if you saw it, they were tweeting best at picture. you. Yeah. You got I'm me sorry. on best Yes. Best picture. He got he got me on best picture. Which should count for everything else. Agreed. Anything wow. within a ten point radius. Uh, well, what it was did close. you have? I had Roma. Oh, okay. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. It doesn't make wrong. sense. It makes no sense at all. But it doesn't well, matter because it didn't win. But that's Josh not the biggest yeah. controversy. And you know what I knew it wasn't <laughs> yeah. going to win? When he won everything else. I go, they're not going to give him no everything. Yeah. They're not giving this rich man everything. You, you were right. But look, but that wasn't the biggest controversy. The biggest controversy was then I said, I text, I was texting him. I go, I, I just calculated. I got, him, I got you five to four. And he's like, all right, all right, good. Then I listened to the show, their show back, and Brenton is like, Oh no, it was tied four four. Then I text him. I said, "Size, you know, we had five five. I said, "What the fuck is going on?" So I had the I had the, I had the audience listen. Mm-hmm. The audience listened. They tell me I have five to four. You said you said you're gonna ring in the sheets, and you yes. said you're, then then, then he magically a, ripped up the sheets. So we all did our sheets. So then Brenton gave me the sheets, right? But I had to go straight to an audition after this. I went to my audition. I had my sides with me. Pilot audition. I go and I read. Let's just say. You bumped. Things didn't go as well as planned. <laughs> okay? And it was one of those ones where you come out and you're like, fuck this, <laughs> fuck it all. And I'm written at you, Radford, CBS Radford, outside, ripping up, and everything was in it. The, the sheets was in my all, sides. All, and sheets. all that stuff ripped up, thrown into the garbage. Mm-hmm. But we should have taken pictures of them. I'll say this. Yeah. If, you had, if you had your listeners do research on this, then yeah. they are one 
hundred percent right. Okay, because I will tell you why. When I started this podcast, I said to myself, I want to choose a person I can get along with. Yeah. Right. Not a set. You know, like not. Not. I don't want him necessarily have to be the co-host where he has to like do anything beyond like what I want him to do. Right. Which is just exactly what he's doing, fucking up Everything. all <laughs> yeah. the time. Yeah, that's what. That's and what I'm give not me hope. And in, 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 in a very natural way, where right. he's got a computer in front of him. Yes. Much like you guys have right now, right? Where, like, I'll give you an example. A couple weeks ago, like, 16 seeds never beat a one seed this, in the NCAA like, playoffs, where, right? Yeah. And then in the NCAA tournament, right? Right, Brenton. So I'm doing a diatribe on how I like. I have a whole theory about twelves and fives, years. right? Mm -hmm. He's on the computer. Yup, it's never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Comes back well, next. The next day, I get you know, of course, three or right. four messages. Right. Of course, it's happened. Last year was Virginia, right? Yeah. I go, what the fuck? I go, I come back. I go, I gave you one. I gave you a computer and one job, <laughs> <laughs> and one fucking job. He blew it, and he blew it. Well, that's why. That's why when he said it was four to four, I had hope. Because I said to him, I go, this is because my podcast is essentially. It, a lot like this, but we are, it's a backdrop of gambling. Like, we'll mm -hmm. just basically bet on anything. And we're not talking about just Smart. money. We're talking yeah. about, like... They're doing The Bachelor this, this yeah. year. We're doing well, The yeah. Bachelor and Here everything. So I that's the, the backdrop of ours. So right? I go, I, I'm too much of a... I have too much of a... There's a lot of shit in my brain. I can't... Re I won't be able to remember what the bets are or who's the... So I need a person with a notepad and a computer. That is his job. And it's always... He blew it. Fucked up. Right. Every, okay. It's always wrong. Well, here's how about this then? Because they did the, bring up the calculation here too. Because they on the Facebook group, the Facebook group listened and they did it. So they, they have all of our picks up there. Go up top. So I had five. Steve had four. Brenton had three. Um, right. So what I will say then, Steve, because of this, because I be, I believe that he was the one who messed this up. I think that the cash. You know, we'll deal it as as it was supposed to be dealt. But the yeah. push-ups, he gets all of the push-ups. No, he's doing ninety-one push-ups. No, he should do. Well, he should do one hundred eighty. He should do 180. It's a lot of push-ups. Yeah. 182, for a really. Like yeah, and I can't even do one. He should do 182 because because he because he was the one that, that, that caused do, all this. He really should. And yeah. you know what? That's a good idea. Yeah. And we should have that play out. We're going to have that play out. Yeah, you can do it over a course. And of, I don't mind if you. Yeah. And I, but it's got to be within a, a certain time frame. Time and frame. I say like an hour. Yes, I'm with you. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I would be like able, to be there. He was a Division three athlete. He should be able to pop out 100. How many can you guys do like without stopping? Six today. Probably like I don't know, like eighty. <laughs> eight. Eight. You do eight of them. Wow. Um, yes. Uh, so it, it, what? What? What sport did he play? Division. Did three? anyone ever in the escape room just punch a hole through the wall like the, 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 the Kool-Aid man? <laughs> well, just go. I'll yeah. get us oh, the yeah. fuck out of here. That's, yeah. that's oh. my story of the escape room, right? So the one that was like Running in World War II, whatever, <laughs> I was stuck in a jail cell the whole time because yeah. my wife knows, like most wives know, he's useless in these situations. Right. So put him in the room. He's the one we have to rescue, okay? Right. So I'm just like, Cross your fingers if you give him a light bulb. I'm another obstacle. Escape rooms hire me Correct. and they put me in rooms just to fucking fuck with people. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we go to this other one that's like out in Pacoima, okay, for like a friend's birthday. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll go along, whatever. We get in this room and there's like an actor Who's mumbling chained to a toilet? And I was like, I gotta get out of here. My wife's like, sit in the corner and shut up. <laughs> but well, you know it's like, an actor, right? It still oh, doesn't matter when he's like putting his there? hand in puke yeah. and yelling mumbles yeah. at you. Yeah. So I legitimately, every time somebody be like, Josh, come over here, I'm like, oh god, I'm just gonna stay in the corner and like pounding on the door just like 10 more minutes. <laughs> yeah, you're not built for those oh But god. one bit. But I, I do it. I do want to switch gears though, too, because like we said, for Steve, they bet on everything, they're betting on the bachelor. Yeah. We still have one more wager. You and I, we have what that. We have that, that. The winner, the bachelor, the bachelor this season. Oh yes, yes. So, so what a hit. What's that? What a week this week was. Yeah. What? Oh, see, I didn't Are we see it. To talk about yeah, it. Talk about it. Great. It's Friday yeah. for yeah. God's sake. If you haven't watched it by now, yeah, she she's gonna fall asleep and Cody will fall asleep too. But we'll we'll, we'll bring it. We'll bring it up. They 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 can't they can't stand. We when don't we talk do about reality it. TV. Yes, we do. We are reality I don't. TV. This is what we do. What do you think? We I don't do? normally. Do you do this isn't reality. Your life is reality. You, what do you mean? You don't do competition it's shows? A any of the reality any of that stuff? It's a simulation, like actually. All of it. All of it. Yeah. Do you don't do competition no, shows? No, I don't like. I don't. I don't. I like fiction stuff. I don't right. like. Yeah, you want. You're, you want to be taken wanna away. I don't want to see regular humans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never, I've never feel like I've let someone down so bad. I'm, I'm the most regular human you'll ever see. 
<laughs> and I'm sorry you have to look at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 but, I'll, I'll put a wall up over right, here. But, you are, but wait, you're very excited. But this is the first I season I've ever I do want to know, watched. though, for The yeah. Bachelor. Yeah. For, what do you guys do? Is it like a fantasy league? Or is it like you actually So bet? the one I do in my league is we draft on the after the first elimination. That's yeah. what we, we draft too. four yeah. people. And then points are scored each episode they go okay. to. And oh, then, we didn't and do it like that. Oh, didn't. Just final yeah. winner. We just drafted like like pl- like players. Like, hey, I got this person. You got that person. And then we drop them like one. Yeah. kind of a situation. that's it. All right. So don't yeah. you don't say who, but you know how do you know who won. So here's what happened. We were in Big Bear last weekend. A bunch of those girls that are on the bats are our models for the company my wife works yes. for, right? And they spoiled and the so winner. So they were all sitting around. They're like, can you believe so and so won? And I'm making dinner. I'm like, what? No! Because they like to talk to each other knowing who won because yeah. they know all these girls. So now I know who won. Well, I had the, so the, what? You know who won? I know who wins. I had yeah, the, I, oh, uh, between, between us, like I said, I haven't watched hardly any of this season. But what, what I did do is I would tune in here and there and I watched my wife. She's watching the first one because I was a producer on the thing. I know the way they shoot this thing. Yeah. I guarantee that that's the one that wins. Who did you say wins? The the therapist, the okay. the, the, the right. blonde uh, therapist, okay. whatever her name is. And who do you so think? What's Cassie. She, Cassie. And who do you think? Steve? That's who I have. Cassie. No, wait, Cassie. no, no, no. Is not bring up. We don't. We don't have. So that the same only person. ones left right now are Hannah G, Taisha, and Hannah G's the tall blonde. Bring Cassie's the short blonde, and Taisha is. No, no, no. Hannah's the tiny same. one. Cassie's the one whose sisters are both Instagram models. I thought you had Hannah. Her <laughs> hometown, and then Taisha's the black girl. <laughs> No, Cassie's the short little girl, right? The one that looks like um, with the big eyeballs. Nobody knows any of this. Yes, yeah, yeah. okay, but they're yeah. both like tiny. But Hannah G is very tiny in person. Oh, did he do oh, the wall leap? Finally, did yeah. he do the wall leap? No, that's it's coming up. No, that's Here's next week. Can I tell you? Oh, and Kaylin, then Kaylin got eliminated this week. She gone. Yes, which was the big surprise for me. Right. I don't know. I thought I was going to be out because she's yeah. my Cassie's my last draft choice. Just bring up the pictures of the girls. You guys are talking about this like it's sports, but it's well, that's how we break it down. That's how we make it fun. Yeah, that's how you got to make it. The only way to watch it. I'm not. I'm still not is, having fun though. Yeah. When they sit down on the dates, I'm like, bup, 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 yeah. right, bup, bup, right. You want to watch the drama? Don't care, don't care. Unless yeah. I see like, oh, so you fast forward through the like, BS. Wait, wait, yes. Okay. Then I, yeah. No, okay, fair that, enough. Yeah, I get through it. Yeah. And first of all, I don't watch it with commercials. I watch it on Hulu the next day. No, no plugs, no okay. shout outs. Just saying, it's got to be done that way. If you watch that thing with commercials, because this well, is like three wait, hours. I, every I gotta, day? I gotta stop. The, the booth is so confused on how to find these women. Yeah. Oh, is Brenton back they, there? Yeah, I know. They, they have, Brenton working the booth. They have just been, they've just been frozen on Bachelor I, Girls 2019. I would go after the Rose blog. That's the one that yeah, we were using, or something like that. I mean, I'd rather watch this guy fall. <laughs> Cody, I think that's the one. Oh, or that's after the, it. I don't know. After. Just go to show us Cassie after from Bachelor, Hannah G, and Taysha. <laughs> Those they're, are our they're final three. sweating back there at, at, at this moment. Um, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that. Perfect. See, I'm with you. See, I usually record it. There DVR. she is. Yeah. There she is. That's, that's, that's it. The like. first girl. The By first the way, girl, her, one the I sister got. is even hotter. The her. sister needs to go in paradise. This, with her, I don't know what whatever. that is, yeah. but Bachelor in Paradise oh, is even dude, more. Bachelor in Paradise is the that's only one. That's the one, one that my Brenton was telling because his yeah. girlfriend or whatever she is, fiance. I don't know if they're fiance, but yeah. their girlfriend, whatever, <laughs> his whatever lover. Yeah, she's a tremendous fan, and so she that's she's the one that was like, you guys should do Bachelor, you know. So she put it in her ear, and so now we're doing it. But he said that Bachelor in Paradise is just basically Man. like way way just, better. It looks like Fry Fest. Like oh, they yeah, get an yeah, island, yeah, they yeah. throw some mattresses right. on it, and like and they have the cheese sandwiches too. It's called Fire Fest, but Fry Fest would be way better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, but yeah, look, bring the cheese sandwiches out, and I'm so good. So this go. is Kat. You think she looks like Sienna Miller? I think yeah. she wins. She's the winner. Her sister is even more famous than she is because she's like an Instagram model. So really? both sisters are dynamite. Yeah. Oh, so she's got Instagram follow. I mean, beyond like she had something before this. They both did. Oh, yeah. okay. So that's why they're coming out to be famous. Yeah. Okay, oh, one hundred percent. So, so, right. so, so you said tried, therapist. I only like, tried watching this show when it first came out, and then I hated it. So, so what is it still the same? Or just you guys are just watching a bunch of people being terrible? Yes. Yeah. More or less. Why do you like that? It's um, I, don't, I don't watch it. Oh, you don't watch it? No, I just watch I Look, for, again, I worked on this stupid thing for <laughs> you years. You can't think what No, no, I want because I, I don't really, because I know they're being terrible. I'm trying to justify. Yeah. I don't watch, I watch it like it's like, do you ever walk into a room and someone's playing like a dice game that you've never played before? Mm-hmm. And you're like, okay. And you sit there for a minute, trying you watch to figure it, it out. Like, yeah, yeah. You're like, yep, I'll play. I really right. don't know how to play. I don't know exactly right. all the rules, but I'm going to, f- like, that's how my, like, I want to yeah, do it. So that's how I'm, like, breaking down right. The Bachelor. I'm and like, and I can good, figure out who's going to win by this, this, and this. And it's yeah. become a good bit for your show. So, right. Yeah. So, yeah so. How many seasons Football is it ended. now? <laughs> 48,000. Yeah, that's and what And that's thought. also funny because we've never watched it before. Yeah. So right. we're, like... We're saying things. It's like watch. It's like we've been in a time capsule and we right. watched right. Star Wars for the first right, time. Right, right, right. Like, yeah. 
I'm like, we're doing like, I, I am your father jokes. Right. And people are like, oh my God, these right. fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah, you know? the, show, the show's been on 19 years, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, before I move on to something else here, you were just in Montreal, weren't you? Who, me? Yeah, I thought you were. No, I was in Vancouver, oh, but in that's Vancouver. Canada too. <laughs> Close. Where are you? Think you're on Other my side. Yeah. <laughs> But you, oh, you, that's right. You were there for just for laughs. Yeah, just for laughs yeah, on yeah. Fri uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday last week. That was fun. It was good. Yeah, it was a good time. You I, like you, traveling still all, after all these years? Uh, yeah. I mean, I like being on stage in yeah. different cities. But the travel, how part you get sucks. there and stuff. Well, you know, you figure out the different times you want to do it. Yeah. I, I keep fucking it up every year. Yeah. Although Januarys are great. Jan my Januarys are always good. Well, but I'm always confused. I mean, not confused, but I, that's the thing. So Steve and I have known each other for now. Shit, we oh, talked about just the other gonna day. ask how you guys met. Comedy store. We both, yeah. reg, we both got made regulars at the same time, like 2002. Something and like that. That's a long time ago. Met a long time ago, and we just became buddies. And um, he was actually he was at my wedding when when Ellis Ellis people don't, Ellis, remember how hammered Ellis was at my wedding. Beyond, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Be it was <laughs> on wine. It, it the greatest. It was I, the greatest. He was sleeping. People thought it was a child sleeping on the near the fountain. <laughs> he fell asleep like a puppy, yeah. and we had to <laughs> pick him up. And what you know, and it, this was like he had like an outdoor. There was like fountains and stuff, and like you know, there was like uh, it was like brick and stuff. So yeah. it wasn't like it what it wasn't like e always even. And for him, it was like just watching Frogger, just like just <laughs> trying to maneuver around like the different bricks that are up and stuff, and walk it from table to table. Yeah, he, was, he's, he brought Eliza, right? Eliza was yeah, Eliza was there too. Yeah, she yeah, was yeah. there too. And yeah. so I remember she like arms like. Yeah, but Ellis, you know, that's... Was, the two drunk as I've ever seen Ellis was at my wedding, which you were at, and then right there behind you, that was at your Fourth of July party. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, fun. look at that one! <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. And that's O'Neill in the background yeah, of that. Ugh. Oh, that's amazing. By the way, that's I I'll give you a third one: the yeah. Van Halen concert. Oh, okay. that makes oh, sense. Yeah. 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 The first time they got back together, we I was went, there. I was at that same oh, show. Oh, yeah, too. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Staples Center. Me, Steve Simone. Mark Ellis, we go. We're gonna drive. We're gonna tailgate. Unbeknownst to us, nobody tailgates in the in L. A. We got there at four thirty in the afternoon. Oh, wow. The guy that opens up the parking lot thing wasn't there yet. We had to stay outside and wait for him. As soon as he opened it up, we're like, "Can we go in?" He's like, "Yeah, for what?" We're like, "We're gonna tailgate." He's like, "Okay." We parked wherever we want. No, we threw the football around. No one was around us for right. two hours. It was the greatest. Now cars are pointed, but we were already hammered. We were <laughs> thrown up, urinated, pissed, <laughs> shit, basically everything around us. Eating all the food, and we're hungry again. We order pizza to the tailgate. By the way, was there whole, pineapple in it? This whole no, pizza, this entire parking lot is filled, except for the one, two spots around us because of the savages of what we've done to those two spots. <laughs> yeah. to the park there. And the pizza is delivered. We ordered a pizza and it got delivered. We told him where it was. We're like, Staples Center. He's like, what do you mean the Staples Center? We're like, parking lot G. He's like, I'm going to this spot. You come meet me. And we bought two pizzas, brought them back. Ellis now just shoves a couple of pizzas in his little was face. This, was this fat Ellis or was this skinny? This was, is like, no, I'll tell you what this was. This was, I'm getting on the health kick, Ellis. Oh, right before. But I'm oh, cutting right, it too fast and I'm taking like, on a normal day, 250 calories. But right, today right, right. I've hit the gas so hard <laughs> that my body's like, whoa, 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 you know? So he's he's now shoving pizza in his face and all of a sudden all the booze and all the pizza oh, hits no. and he's just, brr. now we had to go into the concert. <laughs> Into the concert. We have great seats. We're sitting down. Me and Simone, we got around. And they're like, and he's just like, oh, oh, no. No. and we're like, ah, we're up. And like, we're trying to lift him up. We're like, come on. It was like Weekend at Bernie's brought. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. so good. Hilarious, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Where are, you, hammered. where are you from originally? New York. Okay. So, like, because I'm from Pittsburgh, tailgates are everything. Yeah. Right? So Nobody the, does that out here. The first time I went to a Dodger game and I came out here, I brought like a case of beer in my trunk and I'm the only guy in the parking lot sitting there with yeah, the beer. Like, yeah. where, where is it? You guys pay for all this shit inside? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, that's how, that was like me when I got to Florida and nobody was playing stickball. <laughs> like, yeah. I was so confused. Yeah. Stickball is like a, is a big thing where we're yeah. from. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they still play it. Now, but yeah, they used to sure when they we were, do. We were well, growing up. I don't know what they do now. Yeah, but when they were, we were growing up, we played all the time. Our stickball app. Oh, I love stickball. Play it. It's so yeah. good. Yeah, it's just it's so confusing the lack of tailgating, especially at a concert, which is some of the best tailgates yeah. I've ever been to in my life. Because like it's it's sixteen, seventeen, eighteen in Pittsburgh, you need a somewhere to go to drink underage. Are we supposed underage. to set the parking lot on fire? I'm yes. Like, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. It's a Van Halen concert. Yeah. But you know what? The reason I was getting into all that, as far as the traveling stuff too, because I've been. I've been with my wife now almost shit, 10 years, and 
one of the reasons I stopped doing stand up, you know, is because of traveling and being around. It's it's hard. You're you're, you're yeah, a dad. You're... I'm home for three weeks this week, like for the next three weeks, or yeah, till the twentieth, I go on the road again. Right, and uh, it's great. Like this is like boom, boom, boom. I'm doing spots at night. We got a good rip, but then like yeah. in like a week and a half, she's gonna be like, oh god, because yeah, you go. <laughs> Like oh, really, that you're around. Yeah, because then I start to tinker with the like. Why don't we do this? Like, why? And she's, she's like, got no. a rhythm. She, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I, I'm around too much. Right. <laughs> see, but that's see, but that's the way you guys have always been. You we guys have been around for a have, long time. Um, yeah. Remember the docking and, and the Apollos, like how they had it like. Yeah. They, they're like that. <laughs> like they have, we, we have <laughs> sometimes our dockings are. <laughs> yeah. And then we have to go away. My wife goes into a into a fit if I'm gone for more than five days. I'm going. Mm. I'm going to Chicago really, for like man. five days. Yeah. It's, it's. I just. I mean, we get sick of each other, man. Like we we need you need to miss each other. Well, yes, but I'm also it's it's a it's a thing. Um, <laughs> look, look, it's a thing. look uh, the other thing that I brought yesterday that happened <laughs> that I want to get everyone's thoughts on because this is you don't need to be a wrestling fan to see this shit. What's going down here? If you caught up in it or not with Ronda Rousey and uh, Becky Lynch, what? So Ronda Rousey the and Becky, drama? yeah, but it's but people are really starting to think it's starting to bleed in that Ronda Rousey might have stepped over the line, and same thing with uh, with Becky Lynch. So they they so. To give you a little brief of what's going on here, the 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 Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey are going to be playing in WrestleMania, so they're they're building they're building oh, it up. I'm like Becky Lynch is a wrestler. Got Becky, it. She's she's like the Stone Cold Steve Austin of today. She's like she's like the most popular wrestler they have in WWE. Male or female? Female. She's the, no, she, I know she's a female, dude. Yes. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, like, you're saying she's the most popular wrestler, male or female. Correct. Right now, she's regardless the of gender. Regardless she's of gender. the most popular. Although, Correct. which gender is she? She's a female. She's a woman. She's okay. a woman. Cool. Just to let cool. you know, her name is Becky. Not the, but well, but you, you guys remember her her, tra- her? her handle is the man, so it could get confusing for you. Oh well, yes, see now that's what I'm saying. Dude, so see, now you thank you very much. My going. fault. That's my bad. No problem. Five to four. All right, so let's go. We'll go into how big's her dick. Well, it's funny that you say that, Steve, because. Inside of this tweet, there's like you know, there's an angle going on in wrestling that she was trying to beat up Stephanie McMahon. She had to go to jail. Obviously, fake photos there uh, of that. But then she she in, inside, but inside, but look at it as far as story, Lynn. You simple fuck. Okay. All right. like, now, so Ronda Rousey, she's t- she's talking to Ronda. Go back and get that belt because I don't, I haven't come this far to get it from Stephanie. I came all this way to take it from you. That's inside of the storyline. That's part of the character, right? Ronda Rousey then replies, "That's what I'm trying to do, dumbass. You hobbling around trying to be a ginger crutch, uh, ginger." Crutch, bring it down a little bit. It's a uh, ginger crutch ninja. I can't see because of the light. Bring it down a little bit. Ginger, ginger crutch, crutch ninja. ninja and taking. He, I tell him to bring it down. He goes up. I'll read it. Thank taking you. fake prison photos in the hallway isn't helping. All right, so we go down, and then Tommy was so actually man. got involved though too. <laughs> and then the man said, "Keep that effing word out of your mouth and co- concentrate on getting better at this business instead of trying to remain above it." Looking forward to seeing you real soon. That's the first shot. That's oh. the first shot there too, because that's that's Ronda Rousey not being. A, what in, is she doing there? Well, this is this is where Ronda Rousey then goes back because she because she just told her to pay, as far as being a professional inside of the business, taking a shot at Ronda being a professional, to where Ronda then says, "F word, you mean fake? Like this nonsensical BS armbar that doesn't even work and it looks like you're just holding the dick that you wish you had." Now, oh, yeah, stay there, stay there, stay there, go back up. That's pretty now, good. Now the thing, the problem with this tweet though is. That's Ronda Rousey that she's in the arm bar right there, too. Uh-huh. So she's basically doing a Makuga and saying, this shit's all fake. Okay. She's the WWE's champion, sure. Ronda Rousey. So you were, so the fans did not like it. God. Other wrestlers did not like it. Mm. And then but, but then Becky Lynch responds to this. She says, she says, huh, it does look exactly like the one that you, now that you mention it. And she put Ronda Rousey's boyfriend's face on the dick. Oh. So to where Ronda finally replies. Pretty good. Rebecca Quinn, her real name, I don't care what the script says, I'm beating the living shit out of you the next time I see you. So it's getting a little, it's getting a little hot. Do you, now, do and you, you guys, think it's all? I think real. that it started out. I think it started out with them trying to beef up their match at WrestleMania, mm-hmm. and I think it's Ronda Rousey not understanding how to do it all the way, and then breaking a rule inside of wrestling, and now people are really pissed. But if I'm more uh, scared of a, if I'm more scared of one human Ronda being, Rousey. it's Ronda Rousey. Yeah, yeah. It's not Becky Lynch. Right. Yeah, the MMA I think, fighter. I think you. <laughs> Got snake bit, bro. You think it's all fake? Yeah, I think all so of it? too. Yeah, that's what I told you with, with this morning. I, I think it's all fake. Remember, I wrote for the WWE. I know but the way that they. But it's a Twitter world now, though. That's different. Maybe so. Twitter they, beefs are different. They hold the rules. There are certain rules in wrestling you do not break. The script stuff. Yes, that's I what I'm see saying. what you're saying. But even the, they're not upset that she did it. They're going to talk to her before. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. they're going to talk to her before. Then she's not going to snap anyone's neck. 
Right. She probably will, you know, she'll do like the old school Boring. stuff where she, you know, whatever his name. <laughs> what, remember that documentary on um, Andre the Giant? Oh, yeah. Where he uh, didn't like, was it Jake the Snake? He just didn't like him or whatever no, no, it was. Randy Savage. Randy, Randy Savage. Savage. Yeah. Just like, he just didn't pull punches and beat the fuck and, out of him. And do a couple of those. She'll whip do her that around. shit. Yeah. Whatever. It's yeah, maybe be, unless she was way. supposed to lose. I'm sorry to interrupt. Unless she was supposed to lose. Yeah, well, that's how that, dare you. Well, Ronda Rousey will probably lose that match. And the, but but the thing is that you yeah I think you're right. She's gonna rough her up. And I think you're gonna see a lot of that. And that's another reason why we'll all tune in because we want to see is she really gonna fuck her up or not. So it's just it was if it's good marketing, it's good marketing. It is, but because this is a way to get uh, other audiences that aren't into like people that are into Twitter. They're like, is oh, this what's real? this? Yeah, right. exactly. Right. Oh, yeah. Really and now the new, now the new way to get people to watch WWE is to have Social Twitter media. beefs with yeah. Photoshop. <laughs> no, I mean it, 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 it's it's true. They have long arms that look, look like, like dicks. dicks. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's true though. But I, it's just that that was something as I'm reading. I'm like, okay, they're going back and forth. They're they're playing the story, but it was just that particular thing that was said that I was like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if the rest because other wrestlers were coming out and talking about it and not liking that that's where she went. She's supposed well, to be good I probably have won. I'm sorry, no. they probably wanted to have done that before, and they were like, why is she the one that's allowed to, to be the it. first person to not get in trouble for going off the script? Because she's Ronda Rousey and it yes. pissed her off, right? I will, her off. I will say the line, the dick you wish you have, that's pretty good. I don't know if Ronda's writing that stuff. I don't know if she's got like a ghostwriter. I don't know if she's good enough to put that, because that was a pretty good dick. Yeah. That was a pretty good dick. Do you know Do you know who uh, Becky Lynch was uh, was dating? Jeff Ford. Well, well, yeah, oh, I, that's what, I, I thought you, you were know. talking to me. Who? Yeah. Jeff Dye? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. he's a... He's a stick man. <laughs> what does yeah. that mean? That means um, he played stick ball back in the day. Yeah, good <laughs> idea with that. Uh, no, he's a uh, he's a uh, coxman. He's, yes, <laughs> you know what that means. Yes. He knows how to date popular, good-looking women. Yeah. He's a good-looking. Yeah. He's good. He's got big dick energy. Is what oh you're yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. I was in. A, I was at the Crackers and Broad Ripple. Right? Oh, yeah. and, the, and the next weekend, the host of that show was like, next weekend coming in, uh, the best looking guy in comedy, Jeff Dye. And I was like, huh. Dude. So even in Indianapolis. Yeah. By the way, there are like, did you see that Colin Kane guy? No. He looks like a like a, like a a soap opera model. No, who's this? A new, He's a New, new York comic, comic guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, Gary Goldman was like the big guy when we I were know, coming through. I know. Now he yeah. looks like a monster. Gary <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Gary. Very good job on Conan, Gary. Yeah. I love you, Gary. But, yeah. you know, you but, know we, we haven't aged very well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we, I mean, we, we were not we're not handsome no. now. Listen, I, I don't but, think we were back then. No. Either. Dude, I was looking at pictures of myself back then. I was like, how do you go back in no, time? No. We did the it. best we could with what just, God gave us. It's unbelievable. Somehow got a woman to marry us yeah. was a, just a monster with regular Lizards dick energy so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean like it. no I had big dick energy with just like <laughs> nothing behind it <laughs> dude I'm, uh, I'm in New York uh, this, this past week and this woman goes I was up there for uh, WGN America Upfront, and so she, this woman's like, "Hey, I've been following you on Instagram for a long time," and I was like, "Oh, cool." She's like, "Your wife is way better looking than you." I was like, okay, <laughs> okay go back I picked, I yeah, I posted a picture of my wife once too, and all, every comment, not like a nice picture. Yeah, punching up. Yeah, <laughs> punching up. <laughs> Out kicked your coverage. Yeah, every you time. You guys every are the time. reachers. Every yeah. time. As we get I know. Yeah, it's I hate when my wife's like, "Oh, I got like forty-five followers from people from the, the post you wrote on the weekend." I'm like, "Oh God, I just know what those are." This is like filthy. Filthy fans of mine, like <laughs> just doing horrible things to pictures of my wife. <laughs> That's all I know, and I'm like, God. Probably, God. probably, oh, clen God. probably <laughs> clenching those pictures. And she has no yeah. idea. She's like, Oh, I got it. I'm like, Great. Yeah. great. Yeah. And I'm like, but in my it's head, so I'm nice. like, oh. why do you think they do? You think they print her photos and do stuff? I don't want to know what they do to the photos. <laughs> Jeff died just like my photo, honey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, all right. <laughs> Look, oh, there's man. a couple other things. Oh, one of the things is I do want to get Steve even more angry at Brenton. I want to get some phone calls in here at the end of the show because they've been trying pretty hard to get phone calls on the show. So I want to, I want to show, I want to show what, Brenton what, how to do it. What do you want to show us? A, a show that actually gets phone yeah, calls on the show? Take well, just for Brenton. We've, got, yeah. we've done You've seven, tried so hard. 16 episodes. We've gotten about seven phone calls. <laughs> We're on early in the morning. Yeah. We get 17 phone calls. We've sat, somehow managed to hang up, or they've hung up on every single one of us. I mean, I'm talking about it's like a, we, we'll be talking about whatever, and it's like, bling, bling, and we're like, we're like Jojo the circus idiot of the Marks. Like, get the phone, you get the thing. Who's gonna answer it? Hello, hello. Someone's it's like, saying hello. Yeah, it's like the Ghostbusters. Before getting you the know, first it, people are just like, well, I don't even know why I called oh, them. Right, they hang up. So yeah. So well, let's let me let me know, Cody, when we got somebody, and then uh, we'll take one call. And if you got a call for or you got a question for Steve or or for us or anything you want us to talk about today, please call in. You guys know the number. There it is. Um, 
it's I'm not it's odder in here today than normal because I am dying. It might be like the six day hangover I've got going. Do I only wear t- it could be twenty degrees Jesus outside. I wear I always wear a t shirt. I don't know like what to wear anymore. Hotbox. It's fifty. It's well, it's, it's like fifty eight, sixty degrees outside right now. Right yeah. now. So the walk in was like you know you need this. It's all right. Yeah. No, it's in but here. now it's like yeah, I'm yeah. ready to lose. Today's it. the yeah. first day and I did not wear a jacket, which no. is pretty. It's like Miami. Like speaking of which, by the way, I you know what I finally watched watched two episodes last night. It was the Versace thing last night. Oh, I heard it. Did you see it? No. You should watch it. It's yeah, very I good. love Pass. that series. It's Pass. intense. It's I mean, intense. Did you guys really see People vs. OJ? Yeah. That yeah. Was, yeah. Awesome. That was, was interesting. It was the same, same thing. It was the same thing. Yeah, but it's the Versace. same people. Yeah. 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 It's but so the Versace good. thing, it was like, I'm like, mm. Yeah. Well, I remember, I was actually home when that all that shit went down. Because you were in was, Florida? No, I was in New York. Okay. Um, I, was, it was, I was going to school in Florida State, but I was home for the summer. Because it happened in like Ju- July of like ninety seven. The drama behind that show, though, so yeah. the People vs OJ did well, the Versace one did really well. Is the one in between that was supposed to be about Hurricane Katrina, and they kept putting it on the shelf, putting it on the shelf, and then finally canceled it. They had all ten episodes written. Oh really? They went of, back of and had them rewrite them. Oh wow! And it just never Why went they to air. Over? I have no idea. I, it's like. One of those drama writing room stories yeah. that you hope somebody writes an awesome article about because apparently there was like racist undertones of some of the writing, oh, and then there was this huge beef amongst execs and writers, and that that uh, that true crime story about Katrina will never air. No, huh? Never. Mm-hmm. You got yeah, Cody. Got anybody? Hold on, almost there. That's what <laughs> you said, Brenton. Wait for it. Brent's gonna be Brenton. And you know what, guys? Uh, we got somebody. Okay. Hey, hey Eric, go out alive. Who do we got? You got Jody calling from all the way from Ireland. What's up, buddy? Oh, wow. Ireland in the house. Oh, it's grand entirely. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got for us today, my man? Uh, so yeah, so I just wanted to run a question by uh, the guys, particularly for Riley. If Riley's in, Riley's yeah, um, right about here. The, about the Crow, about how the Crow movie hasn't gone ahead, and what the guys think about maybe possibly rebooting it with a female lead instead of a male lead. Well, there you go. All right, thank you for the call from Ireland. Crow. I think the Crow. The, yeah. Oh, so I he many, said the Crow. Yeah. No, he said the Crow. Got That's it. what so I thought. The, the Nick Crow show. Yeah, the Nick Crow. Yeah. But without out. Nick Crow, <laughs> you guys are going to reboot it with somebody else. Talk? Yeah, Nick. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's garbage. He's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, I don't know. We all, we all know. went to dinner like a week and okay. a half, a couple yeah, weeks ago. Because a lot of times, when you, cause for, again, Steve was on the league for a very long time. and a lot of Seven t- years. Seven yeah. years. So like a lot of times you hear from these people, like, whether it's the Friends cast or whatever the fuck, they don't talk to each other anymore. And so, yeah. so you, you never know who stays in touch. We don't. I mean, there are a lot of emails and stuff, yeah. but uh, we do dinners at least three or four times a year. Okay. And well, then the beyond what we made, see each man. other Just, ever. Yeah, you know, understand. be like whose movies doing this? I saw. I went to see Paddleton the other. By the way, shout out to uh, Mark for new movies. Paddleton's great. Okay, um, good. Yeah, we saw that on Netflix last night. It was yeah, the, uh, so I went to see that. Okay. At, you know, and so ran into a couple people there. Yeah, so we were all together a lot. Nice. It's great. Will there ever be a because they do all these they do all these movies now? You know, like the, I know we just had uh, James Roday in yesterday or two days ago, and he was talking mm-hmm. about the the Psych movie. Ever be a, a league movie? Never talked about it. I think a movie would probably be the easier play. Yeah. Um, because of just time commitment. See, like with those shows are getting back together, it's it's great, but everyone seems to be so busy when you try to get back together that you have to try to find. Like I just look at Arrested Development. It's like they they get back together for you know a couple of months to do that show, and everyone's schedules are popping in here and there. Right. And it's not like it was the first time where everyone's just showing up on set and you're just you know everyone waits. Yeah, so like right everyone else is busy. Yeah. Our show is the same thing, but then also has to be done within the conf- t- confines of those four or five months of football. Right. right. So then you got to fit it into even yeah. a small, year, you know, a third of the year. So right. it's tough. It's tough. But I mean, you do again, like they did one for the Entourage movie. They did one mm. for, and you, got, you guys yeah. are a very popular show. So it's like they, you see that they could do. I think a movie would be like the be final great. year of the yeah. league. Yeah. Has there ever been any talk of a movie? Um, no, I don't think so. No. Not by. I mean. I, no, I think no. people have like reached out for for like bringing back the show. Okay, but, but nothing, uh, not, not, not for not a movie. And that would just be movie. our creators' choice. It's right. like you know, it's up to them how they're you know if they would want to do a movie or yeah, and whatever you can, else. And you but, can get it in, in which is FX is where you can get it. You can get they can still watch it on. Oh, and I think it's on Hulu now. It's on Hulu now. Yeah, okay, you great. never know. I don't know what's going on. But like, it used to be on FX. Right? It was on, it was on FX, FX yeah. when we aired, and then you know they they sold. make great stuff, man. They I do a great job. Yeah. They do a really great job. I love all those shows. I mean, it's always sunny. It's gotten better, by the way, every so year. Yeah. Show's yeah. still going. Yeah, yeah. There's right. a lot of like, better things. You're the worst. There's so many good shows on, including yours. Yeah, our first year was like their sixth or seventh year. Crazy, and. You know, our premiere was great, and their premiere was great too. We used to do them back to back, and then I remember like our last year premiere was like pretty good, and theirs was like their twelfth or thirteenth, whatever it is, season, and it was 
way better than ours. Wow. I mean, it's such a huge show. It's, I mean, those guys have been doing it. They, I mean, they basically created FX with Dude, that show. And they show. just completely redid it, where Rob's character is now gay, and yeah. it's just like <laughs> so and that, that dancing yeah. was most incredible. beautiful, re, like, just because yeah. it's reinvent like, you know, everyone can make all the gay jokes they want. Right, <laughs> right, right. Well, you know, it's like, like the... completely fine now, yeah. and it, they they flipped the, the whole script around. Is the girl still on the, on the show? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. And that's the thing. Everyone still cares about that show, yeah. and the people involved are the creators. They're invested, so they just they you know that that network gave them a chance, and that's what they did. They just left everyone alone. Well, yeah, well, tying that all back in there just is funny. So, what's the, the again? I'm forgive me for the girl's name who Caitlin Olson. Caitlin Olson. So Caitlin Olson. When, because Steve was also, I remember during the Comedy Store days, there, the big news was that Steve had just gotten cast at Punk, and that kind of started it all, right? Yeah. And uh, season two that you were on? Yeah, or two. Was, season two of Punk. And then I remember you run, like, the same person, and I, I kept going in. I was going in for season three or season four, or whatever yep. it was, and you had to give me advice, and you're like, go in there, crush it. And I made it all the way to, to the end, and it was me and Kaylin Olsen. Doing the final the final scene, and it was it was really between me, her, and somebody else. For punked. Yeah, we had to like improv. You talk about the ripping up the sheets. Yeah. Oh, she destroyed me. Destroy. She's yeah. so good. She's, She's so, so good. And everything she was saying, I was like, I was oh, hitting back a brick too. Oh, yeah, dude. And this is before it's always sunny, obviously. So she was just, cr I got crushed. Yeah. Left going, didn't get that. Turn <laughs> on, watch that season. She was cast. I go, absolutely, mm -hmm. because you just knew she was that good. It was like doing. It's like you know, you go in there, you're you're a good fighter, but then you're, you're then you're sparring with Holyfield. Oh, yeah. that's what what the league was for me. Yeah. I mean, I thought I was a good improviser. I was like, I just did the the punked. I just improvised with the greatest actors in the world. They had no idea. I'm like, this is not a problem. Plus, I'm doing stand-up every night. I'm doing crowd work. I'm talking to people. And then I got on set with Nick Kroll and, and Paul Shear and, you know, the UCB guys and yeah. Jason Manzukis And, you know, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> step up your game. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they literally will not stop. Like, they I can say whatever better, I want. Though. They would. Oh, well, that's what they, yeah. thank God for them. Yeah. I was just going to say, did you find your stand-up? And then I saw them get knocked on their ass by a younger dude, Zach Woods. Yeah. Like, you know Zach Woods from, um, from, from Silicon Valley? Silicon oh, Valley. Yeah, 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 that yeah, guy's yeah, yeah. the quickest guy I yeah. have ever really? seen in wow. my life. Dude. More than Ingram? Bro. Really? Next, like, different. I'm talking, like, has knowledge about, will improvise, and has knowledge about, oh, I don't know, the, where is in, like, he's just such a smart, fast, funny Wow. And he's got, a, he's got a sick pilot idea coming out where he's, like, living on a space station, and it's yeah, like a space doing that for force. HBO. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, all, all, well, I was going to ask you, though, did you find yourself, like Dorina said, because you're working with all those guys, and you find, and because, you, you know, anytime you're working with dudes like that, you find yourself getting better, and timing gets better. It's just like being up at the store, like, the more you go up, the more people you're yeah. around, you find the, but did you find your material and your, like, presence, once you're doing that show, the jokes are coming in better than you're no, feeling? The, the no, the opposite. Really? Why is <laughs> the that? The opposite. Why I'll tell that? you why. I was still doing stand-up, but yeah. I was tired. Okay. So... Because that's a different thing. We weren't working with a script. We were improvising all day long for like 12 hours a day. We worked long so you're days. you mentally just tapped. So then I would go, all right, well, now it's my job to go do stand-up and keep that. So I would go do it. So instead of like just talking to the audience and having to keep that, I was just all I would do then was just do material and just work on like actual material that I wrote. Right. And it became a thing where I became less connected with the audience a little bit for a while. Like right. I was just like, well, I'm just, you know, I can't. To keep talking to people and, right. and all day long. But do you think that you were just exhausted from trying to come up with stuff, or you got like a little think, bit yes, more I was like, tired oh crap, of doing these guys all day are really long, good. I yeah. used to be as good, and you well, that to do was that. going on right. mentally during the day. Where I was challenge. like, I'm, just, I'm right. drowning over here. Like, if you were drowning at your job, the yeah. last thing you do was come home and take a swim in the pool by yourself. <laughs> right, right, so right, like, right. And so it felt like. So yeah. that's what it felt like, and so that's why I, you know, like yeah. I was like, I can't, I just want to do laps. I want to do my material that I think is funny, and so well, that's the catch twenty two, isn't it? Because like right now. You feel like you're connected to the audience again, right? When yeah, it's fun up. again. But I'm I mean, doing midnight spots right. again. Like some, I, I'll call and I'm like, "Give me midnight spots this week." Right, that's awesome. So that's like, who gives a shit? Then? But then what if you? And then you book a show. Then then you got to. But how then you it's like, it. but then it's like, yeah. But now it's like, uh, but now, 
Like a, yeah, then yeah. it's like you. Ra- it's I can't balance. wake up at you six gotta, o'clock in the morning. Right. Right. Midnight <laughs> you gotta, yeah, no, you got to figure. That's it's it's look. It's a it's a fun grind to do be you, in, but it's a fun grind. Do you watch uh, Big Mouth? Do you like Big Mouth? Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's great. I love it. It's, I mean, Nick Kroll, those guys, Mansukas is in it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a it's a great show. Have they have he, has he come out? You do a voice on it? I want. I want, I keep pitching him. Coach Steve must have some sort of crazy relative or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, past yeah, yeah. from wherever <laughs> shithole he crawled out of. <laughs> so good. Well, you know, we should probably talk about this this trailer real quick too. So. Hellboy, they they did the Red Band trailer for it. We, we all watched it. Um, I didn't like the first trailer, and I mean, it feels like Hellboy, but I just I I don't know. I just I miss it I miss like Ron Perlman. There's no, yeah, it feels like nineties. I don't I don't I have nothing against David Harbour. I think he's great in yeah. Stranger Things, and, and he looks it looks fine. But I just don't see why this is a necessary thing to remake it without Ron Perlman. I, I will say, like watching it. Now every effect is like the villain turns people to dust, right? It feels like right. this girl's turning people to dust. The CGI was the, bad. The CGI trailer. looked average, kind Oof. of. Uh, I don't understand. What, like I, I is don't. It, is it in the R? It this is R. So this is red band. Yeah, he says oh, okay. the F well, word in there. Well, then where was the blood and the they guts? Showed and they showed it. They showed it. They stabbed the guy in the head. Yeah, but yeah. Did was, you, it wasn't as Do you give a shit about these movies? No, I mean, no. I watched the other Hellboys with Ron Perlman. Yeah. It was like the first ones I laughed at as well. I was like, oh, these could be funny too. But yeah, this one... Yeah, Why? I'm like, it's lazy. I didn't even know it was David Harbour. Yeah. Yeah. And I like David Harbour. I do too. I Although like I was going to say right after, I'm like, that's my only reason is that I hate David Harbour. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're seeing Mila Jovovich in like The Fifth Element 2, but she's the evil one now. Like right. that's I don't know. Oh, I thought that was a new hot girl. <laughs> no. I swear to God, did I know really? it's Mila Jovovich. She doesn't age. He did. Oh, that is she's Mila also Jovovich. Yeah. She's also part of my vampire cult. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah she doesn't age. Yeah, she does not no, age. My God, she's still a hot girl. Yeah, gorgeous. And um, she's just, not a hot. She's, she's a hot woman old, now, a hot yeah. lady, older yeah. lady. Yes, fifty. Yeah. She's close to fifty. Yeah. Yeah. No way. She's, yes, she's got. It's Mila Jovovich. How, how old, how old There's is a bunch under of dude, There are plenty Wait. of fifty hot year old hot Let's do, women. Look, we talked five push, push, ten push-ups. Ten push-ups right you now. talked about it on your show. Jennifer okay, over Lopez. under ten. Um, yeah, you're saying Jayla. over. I'm saying under. All right, don't, don't look. Don't don't look. Don't look. How all right? How how old do you think she is? I'm saying under fifty. We put five dollars on it. He said 10 push ups. Oh, 10 push ups. Oh, yeah, so, push-ups. So what, do what, push-ups. what do you do with the push ups? Why don't you do money anymore? Because it's like I'm pledging a fraternity. Right, fine. Yeah. So you're saying how old is she? For the audience, dude. No one fine. wants to see me hand him a dollar bill or something. They yes. want to see that. Some, they know mm-hmm. the stakes are bigger. How, how much? How much? You, I say under 50. You're saying under 50? I'm saying over 50. Okay, here we go. So the <laughs> answer. If it's a 50. How many push ups? How many push ups? 40. Three. Damn. Oh my God. God. She's, she's not so even. Under. She's my age. Get on I the she, table. I, she, I went to high school with her. Get up and do ten push-ups. Get on get the table. Right oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Look at that mohawk. I thought you were gonna get her an AARP <laughs> yeah. fucking subscription. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Four. Four. Oh, that's five, better than I thought six, you were going to do. Don't seven, fart, dude. Eight, do not fart. <laughs> nine, ten. That's better than nice. I thought you were going to yeah, do. He's, he's How bad. pumped are you right now, bro? Yeah, yeah, Look at his yeah. nipples are hard and everything, man. <laughs> they like jacked up, yeah, ready to go. All right, look, Steve, I'm Steve, already Steve, sweating. Steve, Steve wins that one. Uh, right. Oh, you know what? I, we I'm just answer. impressed you can do push ups. I could probably do 100 push ups in a row. We no. Bra- we, brag, wow. we brag to Steve how much we can get a phone call. We get one from Ireland. We don't even answer the guy's fucking question. I know. And by the way, I was so impressed by your whole international. And it's you like, completely wow, my, ignored your first him. first phone call is from Ireland? I'm like, yeah. I can't even get a, my parents to call from Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say this. Hey, I, think, I think I think the idea of the female crow is interesting, but I say to scrap the crow altogether. Why? It's not, because it's been it's been cursed. Yes. The, the Just first like, of all from the what are you, Ghostbusters. <laughs> what do you mean cursed? Cursed in the side of the... First of all, we all know what happened with Brandon Lee. Yeah, right? of course. That, that's yeah. The, that's Wait, the, what happened is, with Brandon Lee? He's, he's, he's he... alive, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Sorry. My are you bad. serious? No, I'm <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> His name's Becky. Wait a minute. You're Becky. telling me right now Brandon Lee's not still doing Becky Lee. No. Becky Lee. Got it. Yeah. Nailed it. Yeah. But um Becky you know, Lee's the man and Brandon Lee's the woman. Correct. But the movie then they did the shitty sequels, but then they kept trying for the last like five or six years I've been trying to do recast Norman Reedus. Uh, all these people have been right. rumored and it just keeps falling. But that's just like saying don't alone. make don't try to make a good Fantastic Four. It's not the same. Why? Because Fantastic there's never been a good Fantastic Four movie. There's already been a good Crow movie and you don't need it. Yeah, just no, you're right. I just, I mean, they're making everything. I, know, I don't care. Leave, and leave look at Spider Man. Spider Man. Who would play awesome. the, who would you, who would you want to play the female crow, the crowess? No one. I don't want uh, anyone. Paige uh, from the WWE. Mila, Mila Jovovich. Me. Mila Jovovich. <laughs> Mila Jovovich. Any, yeah. Any, yeah. 50 year old Mila Jovovich. 60 years old. All right, let's do another call. You got another call there, Cody? Hello? All right, fine. Hey, you're in Clyde. All right, take it easy. You got, Hello? please stop. Hey, Clyde Alive, you anybody in there? Yeah, this is Hayden from South Carolina. What's up, Hayden? What do you got going on today? What do you got? 
Well, uh, since you guys are so disappointed with how the studio system is handling Masters of the Universe, I was wondering if you ever considered doing a short little fan pilot, maybe five, ten minutes of your vision and something like what uh, Nathan Drake did. I'll be in it. Yeah. <laughs> no you want to play He-Man? Orko. Done, dude. Don't play them all. Don't play them like all. Like the clumps. <laughs> 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 uh, Is that your vision? Yeah. Me would, playing all the characters yeah, would you like, like the Would you like to see Steve uh, Renazisi as Tila? I, I think it could work. I mean, the, the beard would be good. <laughs> there we no go. problem. All right. Well, yeah, listen. Thank you so much for the call. I appreciate it. It would be awesome if somebody wants to dump a, a handful of cash. In, yeah. In, in hey, our do you want to do the VFX account? for it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could be the wanger's next project. Yeah, look, if the if the if someone said, "Look, we'll give you we'll give you <laughs> we'll give you $200,000 to do 5 minutes of Master of the Universe." First yeah. thing I have to explain to my wife why I'm spending $200,000 $200, on yeah, Master dude, of the where, Universe. For, first of all, and where where are we robbing the bank to get the 200 grand that's, that's, for a that's, short that's, film? I'm just saying if somebody gave it to us to do this is the only reason you, the only way you could spend it is this 200 Christian Harloff is the mule to yeah. fund his project. <laughs> He ran money back and forth. That's all it is. But I mean, yeah, we I'd could, love we to. could do I'd a Kickstarter and get Josh to do push-ups, and then people can send sure. us money. And yeah. Donate. Well, first I got to collect my money from the from the What's the Odds podcast before oh, that's anything true. else. So. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I got friends' money, but As, I'm a little short on mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were. <laughs> my brother and I were like betting about the Cleveland Browns victories this year, right? And I, we put a bunch of bets this summer, and the over under was six and a half, right? So I took the under like an idiot oh, and didn't man. hit it, right? My brother took the over. Yeah. A bunch of the other people took the over, and my brother's like, "You gonna pay me?" I was like, "I'm a cougar, never pays his debts." Nice. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, See, I'm, I'm did, you, did you get nervous with the when the first game was a tie? Where you're like, against, "The half's coming in, we're gonna push against my Steelers." Yeah, yeah that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, real crazy. Um, all right, we got about what ten minutes left. Yeah, ten uh, minutes. No, we'll do another. We'll do another call in a second. But where are you going? Are you going? Are you, where are you going? You going anywhere this weekend? Uh, you... No, I'm off the next couple of weeks. Then I'm going to. You mentioned Crackers in Indianapolis, yeah, but nice. I'm, it's no longer there. I'm doing the new Helium Comedy Club. It's the second week ever in, in Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Oh, I just nice. opened it up, so right, I'll so be in Indianapolis. Where can they, where can they get tickets? If they All want to... on my website, steverenazizi.com. Go over there and go t- and check it out. He's very funny. He's uh, again, I've been friends with him for a very long time. Indy, Buffalo, of... Arlington, Virginia. And then Cleveland, Ohio, back to back to back. Well, there to you back. go. Check out those dates for sure. Yeah, I used to have, and I still don't know where it is. I had a, I had a poster up here from an old gig that I did with uh, Ernst and Sebastian from the Saboba Casino. Oh you hell know, yeah! Remember the well, Saboba? Ernst's girl used to used book to that, book that room, all the Denise. time. Yeah, yeah, and we, and so it was back. Seba- <laughs> Sebastian's fucking. Killing it. Who's Sebastian? Yeah. <laughs> he's a woman. <laughs> killing it. Holy dude, shit, unbelievable, dude. right? It's crazy. Yeah. He's like he's like. I mean, it's, it's, it's insane. insane. It really when is. You, when you understand that, because I so, bumped into him literally last night at the comedy store. Was it last night or Wednesday night? Whatever night it was. One of these nights this week. And we literally bumped into each other. Did your arm explode into cash? Our man. Well, and I, I, I was afraid to touch the leather. Yeah. But then we, like, in the, you know, the main room in the back, that's, we, we had to walk past each other, but then past, you know, the, the audience yeah. members are right there too. And like a waitress came over and she just bumped into him and go, for what? <laughs> he's like, yeah. I'm like, literally, I'm like, he's walking in to do this main room spot for whatever, 15, 20 bucks, whatever right, he's going right, to do, right. maybe free. And he's like, for what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's so, so that's what so, makes him him. Yeah, for you guys, I mean, a lot of, obviously, we've got a lot of requests to have him on the show, too. But Sebastian Maniscalco, one of the uh, funniest comedians out there, too. He, he was like a, a, a just coming off of being a doorman when we were starting, I think, too. Yeah. Back in, and he was still working at the Beverly Hills Hotel, yeah. coming in on his breaks in the tuxedo it's crazy as a yeah. waiter well, all those guys man and so our oh, well one thing before you go and who I, Ari? He's, Ari a, he's another piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> Real you guys, piece you of guys shit. have always been tight when yeah. do you guys meet just at the store as well yes yeah him me simone yeah um yeah that whole crew the, the whole crew yeah, someone's the nicest my, person on the planet my two months of doing a podcast with steve simone was some of the funnier two months Ever. of my life oh, yeah, really? yeah. Great. well yeah. because you know better than anyone so steve is he's my my son's godfather is and he's and he's the nicest guy but he's got silent rage. Of like, course, he's, there's a rage yeah. when, when you piss him off. Well, that's what that's, that's where I'm going with it. That, yeah. Yes, because they were they had this show and he didn't like one of the way one of the producers was was doing stuff. So he just didn't talk for the full hour. And our oh, we we had a guest on the show, Rick Ingram. So it was fine. Yeah. We were able to do it. But Steve didn't say a word for the entire forty and that was, fifty minutes. And that was podcast. his last show. He just left no, the show. That, after that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was my game plan on uh, Chelsea lately. I mean, that show was on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, there's a time and I was like, oh, they might like. Uh, uh, they, I was like, I don't. I just want to be. I don't know if I want to be on the panel, but I just want to know why I'm not being asked to be right. on the panel. And then it was like, oh. And then I would watch the show, and sometimes it would be like whole clips where people would just be talking over each other. Yeah. And I was like, 
I know what I want to do. I want to go on there and not say a fucking word. <laughs> I want to get paid like Did everybody you do else. It? I didn't. I never got asked to be on the show. Why was it? Did you ever find out why? I don't no. know. Because he wasn't Ben Gleeb. You feel like <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Man, every right. episode. Because Caparillo you... was there all, every night. You know. Yeah. But it was like, I, that's what I wanted. I want to go there, do the whole yeah. show, and get paid like everybody else. I get the same money everyone else got paid, right. but I did nothing. Can right. I do that here? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just you not do, say do, anything? You do Don't you already do that? No, I say too much. Well, that's Sorry, I interrupted her before. That's why she's very quiet. Now. I understand. Um, all right, let's do, let's do, oh, no, that's what I want to say before we before we go. I know you did talk about it on your show. What? And we talked about it briefly. Um, our, our good buddy, the great Brody Stevens. Yes. Um, so, again, for everyone out there who wasn't familiar with this comedy, you should be. He was, I mean, what a what a rare, just uh, unique individual he was. Yeah. A sweetheart of a guy. Never was, was never one of those guys. Like, we came up, I mean, comedy in general, very, very cutthroat, a lot of dicks in, in, in the business, mm-hmm. both men and women. But yeah, Brody Brody was not one of those guys. Brody was one of those guys that would, he would, I remember every time I had a set, Harloff! Doing it, yeah. <laughs> and, and he, he would, literally told you, "You got it." Yeah. Like if you got it, yeah. He would let you know, "You got it." <laughs> I've, you, ne- I've never seen so many people say such nice things about he him. Was, he was the he, best. That's uh, that's a testament to um, how beloved he was, and I think that he was one of those guys that could sit at the table of every single, you know, lunch room group. He could yeah. sit with the jocks. He could sit, you know, he was a big baseball fan. He could yeah, sit yeah. with the old kids. He could sit with movie stars. He could sit with, you know, he just wanted to like t- Ferris yeah. Bueller, bro. He just wanted he to just be around him, him because he was because he was just not there was not a bad, bad bone in his body. He was just And he was I mean, he just checked a lot of boxes. He, he was funny. And when I say he wasn't for everyone, he was not for everyone. <laughs> he wasn't for a lot of audience members, but that's what made him so so great though. Yes. Yeah. He was for people that truly wanted to be funny and wanted to pursue a career in comedy they understood how funny he was Mm -hmm. and um i think that for him that never really resonated into a ton of you know monetary goods and all that shit but i think that his his the equity that he built up amongst the community was probably second to none yeah yeah Yeah. well i mean well, his, well, yeah, his show yeah. on Comedy Central, I will say this, that was one of the most geniusly, hysterical shows that was a reality mockumentary of just yeah. life. It was, that it show was so original, just like he was. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I likened him, and I'm, I'm, by the way, if I could do a plug for, they're doing a benefit uh, March 5th at the Comedy Store, tickets for $30. Yeah. Um, all the money goes to mental illness, and uh, March 11th, we'll be do we shut down the Comedy Store, and we're going to do a... Uh, a memorial. It's a uh, it's a private event. It's invite only, but they're gonna do the whole thing on Periscope. So if you are a fan and you want to see a lot of a lot of great people speaking, um, saying nice things about him, I just I always likened his mind to a um, a really wonderful speaker, and it had a lot of wires, and you try to f- always figure out the right sound, and then it would fall over, and all the wires would come out, and sometimes <laughs> you'd have to and you'd have to plug them right in, and you'd guess, and you'd had no idea, and sometimes the sound would be so wonderful. And sometimes it was really fucked up. Yeah, he, he was he was just one of those guys. Like so, again, just to paint the scene at the comedy store, the the, the original room, when a lot of the comics, to be honest, we've everybody's seen everybody's sets a billion times, and you don't really watch each other often. But there are certain comics that you can't help but watch. Yeah, and Brody was one of those guys. Mm-hmm. If you had, yeah, there's a there's a handful of them. Yeah, and I'm not talking about the household name ones. I'm talking about the ones that no one knows about, right. mm-hmm. that we know about. And on the Mount Rushmore, he was one of them. There's a couple more left, thank goodness. There's yeah. Brian Holtzman, Holtzman, a couple more. Mm-hmm. But, you know, yeah. it's tough when one of those guys goes because yeah. they're irreplaceable. I, I couldn't agree more. And the, the great Brody Stevens um, gone too soon. So, guys, uh, please check out everything that Steve was saying. And, um, and again, dude, thank you so much for coming hey, in no here worries. today. Hey, no worries. Thanks. Yeah. You've got to you you come on this again. Last. Best Thanks, is that man. you're two seconds away I, here. Yeah, I, I do my thing, you know, not you're too far not away. Not too far so, away. So, yeah. And check out Steve's podcast. It's really funny with him and Brenton, who's going to be owing me some cash and you guys a lot of push-ups. Go and check that out. That is uh, What's the Odds over at Apple Podcast. Thank you, everybody who joined us today. We'll be back on Monday. Some good guests coming up. Thanks again this week. James Rodez, Steve Renazisi, and for the whole crew, Josh McCuga, Darina, Riley, everybody, Roxy Stryer, we'll see you on, uh, on Monday.